being around people's stories here in Virginia City and being in the buildings, I began to realize that, that um, there was a lot here that you can't actually see. When I'm in the Fairweather Inn, I can feel its history. It had been a butcher shop and a bowling alley and a hotel. And 1863 was when Fairweather Party came through in the spring of 1863. And by the fall, there were 10,000 people right in this area. That's a lot of lives. It adds a lot of depth and quality to the telling of the history to feel those lives. Down here in the basement of Fairweather is um, where I had an experience that I can't blow off. I was down here working and I was doing laundry. Middle of the day, sunny afternoon. I was bending over to get the stuff out of the back. I was halfway in there. I could hear someone coming down the stairs and I was thinking it was a friend I, I was seeing at the time. So I gathered up all my laundry and I could I, I could hear him coming up closer, and as I was bent over, grabbed me right here. And so I, I let go of my stuff, and I started turning around. Halfway into turning around, there was nobody there. It was shocking because I heard someone come down the stairs. I could feel them coming up behind me, and I could feel somebody grab me, and there was nobody there. And that was pretty unsettling. It was a Friday afternoon. We'd been just slowly working our way through these rooms, doing the, you know, stuff for this electrical and doing some renovation in the bathrooms. This door, for some reason, kept shutting. It wouldn't stay open, so at one point, I propped a tool or something against that door to keep it open so I wouldn't have to keep messing with it. Later on in the day, I was in the bathroom doing work in there. It was probably, you know, starting to get dark, you know, probably getting after five o'clock or something, and all of a sudden, I just heard this big whoosh slam. I just turned around and looked over here, and that that door had slammed shut and a screw gun had slid all the way across, hit up against the wall over there. And, you know, and it just, it, it scared me bad. I was just like, holy crap, you know, what, what, what's going on? I mean, your heart race, you know, I mean, right away, the blood, you know, the heart rate goes up and it just, you know, it literally scared me. And I was like, that's it, I'm, I'm out of here. I'll leave you, <laughs> I'll leave you for the weekend to let you have some peace. I feel that it's legit just because I had that experience here myself, you know what I mean? It's like, man. Something hanging around in the fair weather. But you know, you gotta fear there was a lot of people here back in the day, you know, I mean, a lot of stuff going on and a lot of people getting hung and lynched and lawlessness. And if you just sit here and, and it's all quiet, you know, and you just ponder, you know, just can't, you know, just ponder all the people that have come and gone. I hope that um, people do acknowledge that there are these energies here, that there's much more beyond what we know for our normal everyday existence.